What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Tomioka Gayu, a kind of a three quarter portrait of the man. So three quarter portrait means you, you have one small eye and one big eye. You know, you can only see sort of um, three quarters of the face because he's kind of turning his head away. Okay, so Lots of places you can start, right? So I kind of mix it up every now and then. sometimes I like to start with the nose, sometimes the big eyes, small eye. It's good to learn how to draw three quarter pose. It's like the hardest facial uh, position to draw, right? You have profile, which is looking to the side, full front, which is just full front, and then three quarter, which is this, kind of halfway between full front and profile. So let's talk more draw. Pencil and eraser for these, hit pause if I go too fast. Sketch it out lightly, try have fun. So center point of my page about here, right? So I'm gonna put his eye somewhere, like maybe up to the right a little bit. We're gonna start with the big eye. I'm gonna start with his eyelid line. So it like curves across like so, right? And then like spikes at the front and then goes back to a spike at the back. Like so back there, right? And then you just color that dark. Shade it in. Black or like if you're leaving it as a pencil drawing, just like your darkest pencil shade, okay? And then in Demon Slayer, they, they like to do these kind of extra lines. Like that at the front. Bottom eyelid then. So we go down, and then we go back up, like so. You can kind of thicken this up a little bit, but you know, not too much. Do, do, do. Right, and then his eye, so real big blue eyes, right? Line that in that way. Another one. Right, now his, his eyes are done in shades of blue. He doesn't really have a black pupil, but I'll draw it in just so we get it in the right place, okay? We just do this. It's like really dark blue basically right in there and I will color it in just so we know so this is actually like a dark navy not really black but you can do it black if you want and then he's got like some extra lines around his eye like these kind of texture lines eyelid lines etc so like his eyelid line will be here something there so real sort of unimpressed looking eyes, right? Eyebrow, just above. There, and then you gotta put a spot to color in, so. Dark, and then gets thinner back here. Again, these are black, so. Right, like so. So. Next eye, right? So we'll start here. You're about half, like half the width of his eye over. Okay, like the width of his eye will fit half of it will like fit into here that's where the next one starts right so then this eyelid comes over this way now this eye is smaller and then it comes in just behind his nose and you can darken that up this is like this kind of bridge of his nose line right and then we have bottom eyelid 
there. Looks like so. Pupil and iris. So curve line for the eye. Two of them. So he's kind of looking over to the left. So that's why the eye is sort of in the left side of the eye. And then the pupil, again, I will draw it in just so we get an idea of where his eyes are and stuff. Yeah. We can see his gaze then, where he's looking, the direction. Okay, like so. Eyebrow, real small. Look that way. And then add a spot just to darken it up. Just make it seem like it's black there. And then he's got like an eyelid line just coming across here. And some more lines under his eye. These kind of stress lines or tired lines kind of thing. Okay. So nose then, right? So all, all we have for his nose is like it, it sort of just like comes out this way a little bit. And then the tip sort of comes around here and it's broken lines. They're not like attached to one another. And then this comes down. You could, you can attach them if you want, but I'll just do it as I see it. And there's a little bit of a shadow under here. So you just thicken up that line a little bit. And then the nostril, like so. And then some hatching just on the top of his nose. Like that. Okay, so his mouth underneath the nose just here. Comes across. Like so. Real small at first. But then it goes like back down the side. So they do something to add a shadow to his lip. So this is optional. You could leave it like that if you're happy with that. That would work fine. But what they do is, they at the top here, they add a bump to both sides of the lip. See that? It's a subtle thing. It's hard to, it's hard to do, but it just makes it look like a top lip with a shadow sort of underneath. And then we have that chin shadow, that sort of triangle that Demon Slayer chins have. And then the chin itself, relatively pointy chin. Just here. Okay, proportion wise, say pupil to the nose, the, the nostril area, the bottom of the nose, right? That is about the same as nostril to the chin. So like bottom of his nose to chin, about the same as bottom of his nose to pupil or the top eyelid, right? Going in this diagonal line here. So here to here is about the same as here to here, okay? And then bottom of the nose to this bottom lip sort of chin shadow is about the same as that shadow to the chin, right? So this thing is like halfway between bottom of his nose and his chin and bottom of his nose is halfway between sort of eyelid line or top of his pupil to the chin. So that's kind of the proportion you're working with for anyone who likes to know what the proportions are and stuff like that. So jaw then will just go that okay and then the side of his face we go this way <clears throat> and we go around his cheek right so it comes out here and then starts to curve in because like there we have jawbone and here we have cheekbone right and then it goes 
directly towards his eye and then he kind of sticks out and then goes back up right you can't see the rest because of his fringe so it like sticks out here it comes back down that way So then, hair, okay, so we've got like a hair spike coming down here, goes back up, like that. So we've got like all these fringe lines coming across here. Next one, down, touches his eye, back up to there. Next one, down, like that. Again, and there's all these like shadows and things inside. So you can draw them in or not. I'll color them in later on. Like so, and then another one down to there goes back up. Can't see his ears or anything, can we? Okay, so then hair spike there. And then there's hair spikes that come down across his face. Like that. And then this is going down here. Back up. And then behind here. Kind of like the Sasuke character of Demon Slayer, kind of. It's real serious looking. Um, right, so just we keep going with this. So that's this, that's that spike, and then there's another one. A long one, or what? No, so this one goes this way to there, and then we got like another one here. And then another one sticking out this way. Nope. This one goes all the way up to the top. And then in. Texture line going down there. Then a smaller hair spike here, back in. And we got some more bumps that come across the top of his head here. So just like. A spike sticking out, and that's lonesome. And another one here. Here. And then this one runs down the side of his face. There. And then he has like one sticking out from behind his body, but it's like ponytail goes behind his back, so we kind of have to draw the body first. So, neckline. There. Kind of this collar line that runs parallel to his jaw there then the outside like so around like so like that and then this goes up down Like a neckline there's like a shadow underneath his chin so we'll just put that in like 
like so. And then, so red kimono, that side, and then the back of it sort of comes out from behind his hair here. Bump down, full line there, and then this comes down this way. that and then the other side just kind of bumps down this way and thicken up the edge lines as well then the inside here and then like there's like a line coming down bumpy line for the middle button button get some like squiggles on it now if I go too fast, just hit pause. I have to keep my videos a certain length. And then another four line that way. Go around there. Pocket. And there's like these shapes, like diamonds and squares and cubes and things. On his Clothing. Just break it up. Like that. And right, so then his ponytail spiking out. Remember, hair moves, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You know, you can kind of switch it around if you want. Yeah, I don't know, am I right with that? Yeah, that there. And then it kind of goes in behind his head split this way. Put that down in there somewhere. Uh, edge lines can be thickened up if necessary. But I think I'll leave it there, guys. That's how to draw Tomioka from Demon Slayer. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.